In this video, I'll show how to create a Power Automate flow to scan shipping labels using the mobile app and save the data automatically to an Excel file. I will use Power Automate AI Builder to extract the content from the shipping labels. I will demonstrate the process to scan shipping labels and you can follow the same steps to create a flow for other use cases, like scanning invoices or equipment tags to quickly digitize the data. I have another video where I have demonstrated scanning business cards and automatically saving them into Outlook contacts. You will find the link in the video description. Let's get started. I am in the Power Automate dashboard. Here I'll select AI Hub. First we need to create a prompt in AI Builder that will extract the content from the shipping labels. You can see I already have a few custom prompts here. I will select prompts to create a new prompt. Here you will see a few built-in templates. We will choose build your own prompt to create a custom prompt for our use case. In the instructions, we will write the prompt. I will paste my prompt here. Here I have asked the model to extract the following field from the image. I have 7 fields here, but you can extract any number of fields you need. Some shipping labels will not have all fields, so I asked for empty strings for any missing values. This keeps the output structured for Power Automate. On this demo shipping label, the address lines are split across multiple lines, name, street, city, zip, and then the country. The same applies to the other address. I want to save the full address in one column in Excel. That's why I asked the model to replace any line breaks or tabs with a comma. And I need the fields in this order, name, address, city, postal, and country. Here you see the from and two addresses have the name first, then street, then city, state, zip, and the country. You can split the address into separate columns if you prefer. To keep this video focused, I am merging the address into one column. Finally, we need to replace this document placeholder with a file input. I'll delete this text here. I'll click Add Content and select Image or Document. Let's upload a shipping label. I'll select this option Upload an Image or Document. I'll select this file and close this. Here you can change the AI model. The default is GPT 4.1 Mini which works well for this task. You can try other models if your scenario needs more reasoning. Now, in model response, we will change the output format to JSON. This returns structured data. So we can map the fields to Excel easily. I'll click this test button to run the prompt. It takes a few seconds to read and extract the data from the uploaded image. Here is our JSON output. The output includes all the fields we defined. And the addresses are formatted as instructed. We are ready with the prompt. I'll rename this label to Shipping Label Extractor and I'll save it. Now we can use this prompt in a Power Automate flow. Let's create the Power Automate flow. I'll click this Create. Here I'll select Instant Cloud Flow. I'll name it Shipping Data Log. I'll select Manually Trigger a flow and click the Create button. We chose the manual trigger because we will run this flow whenever we need to save a new shipping label. We need to upload the shipping label image with the trigger. I'll click this Add an Input option and select File. This makes the flow ask for a file each time. On the phone, you can capture the label and the flow will extract and save the data. We will see that in a few minutes. Next, we need to create and format the Excel file where we want to store the data. I'll go to Excel Online. I'll create a blank workbook. I'll rename the file to Shipping Log. Now I'll create the column headers. These are the column headers. We will get these fields from the shipping labels. In one column, we will record the current date and time when the label is scanned. And in another column, we will store the name of the user from Microsoft 365. These two fields are optional. Now we need to format the columns into a table so in Power Automate we can use the table reference to add new data. I'll select the range and I'll select this option format as table. Here I'll pick any table style. 
I'll check this my table has headers option and click the OK button. This is a table now. In the table design tab, I can see the name of the table. Table 1. You can rename the table name if you want, I will keep the default. We are ready with the excel file. Let's go back to the Power Automate flow. After the trigger, I'll add the next action. I'll click the plus icon and I'll select this run a prompt action under this AI capabilities group. If you don't see the action here, you can search for it in the search box and select the action. With this action, we will run the prompt we created. Now I'll click the prompt here and select the prompt we created, shipping label extractor. This prompt requires a file input, so we need to pass the file here. We receive the document from the trigger. I'll click this option, enter the data from previous step. I'll expand C mode to view all the fields. I'll select this file content content bytes. This contains the uploaded document. In the Excel file, we are storing the current time and the name of the user, which will not be present on the shipping levels. I'll add a new action and search for current time. I'll select the current time action. This returns the date and time when the flow runs. I'll add another action to get the name of the user who is running the flow. I'll search for get my profile and select this get my profile v2 action. This action will return the details about the user. We will just need the name of the user. Now we will map the output of run a prompt to our excel table. I'll add the next action. I'll search for add a row into a table. From the excel online group, I'll select the action add a row into a table. For the location, I'll click this arrow and select OneDrive for business. For the document library, I'll select OneDrive. I'll click the folder icon to select the excel file. I'll scroll down to find the file and this is the file shippinglog.xlsx. I'll select the file. Now I'll select the table we created in the workbook. I can see the table name here, table 1. I'll select it. Now I'll open advanced parameters to show the table columns. Here are all the columns we created. I do not need this date and time format column. I'll check all the columns we have created in the excel table. Now you can see the columns here. Let's map the fields. For the received add field, I'll select this option enter the data from previous step and I'll select the current time under the current time action. For the receiver, I'll select this option and on the get my profile action, I'll expand see more. Here I'll select the display name field. This will have the name of the Microsoft 365 user. For the remaining fields, we will use the output from run a prompt. For the tracking number, I'll use the option enter the data from previous step. I'll expand the see more under run a prompt and here I'll pick tracking number column. For the service label, I'll click this option and I'll select the service label column. For the weight, I'll follow the same process. Here I see the weight. For the PO or reference, I'll click this see more and I'll select PO or reference field. For the pieces, I'll select the pieces field. For the to address, I'll select see more and select the to address. For the from address, I'll select the from address field here. We have mapped all the fields. I'll save the flow. Let's test it. I'll click this test button. I'll select the manually option and I'll click this test button again. I'll click the continue button. To run the flow, I need to upload a shipping label. I'll click this import button. I'll select a shipping label and I'll click this run flow button. It will take a few moments to analyze and extract the data. The flow ran successfully. Let's view the excel file. Here's the shipping label data extracted using the AI builder. I have used this shipping label to test the flow and I can see the data perfectly as on the shipping label. 
the weight, POR reference number, service level, tracking number, receiver, received ad, to address, this is the to address and the from address. Now let's try the flow on the Power Automate mobile app. I will use this shipping level on the Power Automate mobile application. I already have the Power Automate application installed on my phone, I'll open it. Here I can see the flow we just created. I'll tap these three dots and select run flow. It requires a shipping label image to run. I'll tap this file content option. It gives the option to launch the camera. I'll select it. I'll capture the shipping label and I'll tap use photo. Now I'll tap this run flow button. It will take a few seconds to complete the process and you will get a new row with the extracted data. Here is the new row it created. You can see the shipping label and the newly created row here. The data is formatted into the correct column as we mapped. Each time you need to save a new shipping level, run the flow, use the camera, capture the shipping level and run the flow. Power Automate will extract the data using AI Builder in a few seconds. And here is the new row. You can also save the captured photo to a OneDrive folder and add a column for the photo link. This helps the manual review later if needed. You can create Power Automate flows with AI Builder for many use cases. Just tweak the fields as per your requirements. In another video, I will demonstrate a different use case. Please subscribe to the channel to stay updated. You can write your queries and feedback in the comments below. If you find the video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.